Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video for you on the Fragrance House Fragrance de Bois. So I have a couple of their perfumes to try and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos. Some are niche fragrances like this and plenty on mainstream designer perfumes to so do check them all out. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed, do hit that subscribe button, show your support. You can sign up to my newsletter as well, link in the description, where I'll also put the link to where you can buy Fragrance de Bois. So Fragrance du Bois, Bois is the French for wood, is a perfume house that is based in France, it's French, and they are focused on oud perfume. So all their effort is around sourcing sustainable, organic, pure perfume oils and really finding the best ouds to put in their perfumes. They work with different perfumers, there's not just one perfumer, um, so they bring different points of view together to create different fragrances and they have an ethical element as well around giving back to the local economies where they source their ingredients from and they are also trying to raise awareness for the Aguilaria tree where oud comes from to ensure that they are sustainably used and we don't run out of them. So depending on what country you are you might recognize the brand. They have boutiques in Asia and Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Hong Kong, Dubai, of course sold in the UK in Selfridges and they actually have 39 perfumes so I'm not going to take you through all of them. So first of all I wanted to show you what the bottles look like. So they come in this very luxurious presentation box. So you have these you know, thick cardboard outside and then the actual box itself is a velvet box with this red silk inside and it just opens like this and then the fragrance is here and the bottle is a very thick heavy bottle we have some black crystals around the lid and it says an original perfume by fragrance dubois on the back it's made in the uk and this is the 100 mil side. So this fragrance is called New York Fifth Avenue and this is one of their newer releases came out in 2020. So let's give it a try. Wow. So I really get the oud straight away. I also really get a rose scent. There's also a bit of a violet scent in here as well. So it's probably more towards the feminine side. I'm sure this could be worn by men and women but it feels a little bit more feminine. It's not overpowering, it's not super heavy, doesn't like really get in your nose, you know, but it definitely has a real strength to it. It feels like it's got huge lasting power. And the rose and the oud obviously work well together. We, they're, they come from similar regions and we often see rose and oud paired together and they just mix together perfectly to create a particular scent. Uh, you don't really smell them separately almost. And then, yeah, that very feminine powdery violet. Violet is like the smell of makeup, often smells like violets. And then there's this very gentle cashmere note in here as well. I think the, in the ingredients it's listed as having caramel. I don't really get any sweetness, any caramel here. I just get that very rosy oud. But very, very sophisticated, very high-end smell, very classy. Um, I think you could wear this during the day, but I'd use, you know, maybe one spray and then maybe two sprays in the evening. Like, this is so heavy, so concentrated, you really don't need to spray a lot. Um, and, you know, this is a parfum, so it's not an eau de parfum, it's a parfum, so it's really strong, really concentrated. So if you are an oud fan, um, a rosy oud fan, definitely check these out. I have a couple of other ones to try. So I have one called Oud Juan Intense. It says uh, in the little sample here, it says, true vision takes time. Each one of our visionary creations started their journey to you over a decade ago as a seed falling from the mystical Argolwood tree and then nurtured from seed to soil, to oil, to you by Fragrance Dubois. Oh, okay, so this one has a very yellow liquid. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I love this. So this is a tiari flower fragrance. Mmm. With pineapple, jasmine, white flowers, orange blossom. It basically smells like a tropical flower. Tiari flower is a tropical flower you get in, in the tropics. Mmm. And it's used um, in fragrances like bronze goddess. It's often paired with coconut. 
This actually smells very similar to Bronze Goddess, but more floral and certainly more powerful. I find Bronze Goddess doesn't last that long unless you have the, the perfume. Mm, really love this. Any fans of Tiori Flower fragrances, you must try this. Amazing, it's the perfect holiday. It makes me think about going away on holiday straight away. Mm, it's really, really lasting as well. It, it says it has an oud fragrance note in here. I don't really get that. It's all about these, this bouquet of tropical flowers. I literally feel like I'm in the Caribbean right now. Mm, and just that hint of pineapple as well. That is a perfect vacation fragrance. I really love that one. Sticks, we have one called Brood Matin. Hmm. So this is a fresh floral and a little bit of a powderiness to it as well. So this is Rose Jasmine Peony. And then there's a violet underneath giving it that powderiness. There's a hint of peach hint of orange but i'd say the violet is really even though it's not dominating i can really feel it coming through along with the bouquet of roses reminds me of um sort of a bath oil or something that kind of very very feminine scent like exclude very feminine and it's quite classic as well it's the kind of thing i can imagine uh i don't know in a, one of these chanel fragrances have it smells like you know the classic ones or one of the classic dior ones very clean feminine pretty um definitely female i'd say this one mm. i just the lasting power of these is insane they just it, it, so many perfumes you spray them and like 10 seconds later the fragrance has changed and died down this is just carrying on projecting like my whole room smells of fragrance so some really interesting ones there they obviously have so many more as well so if you are near a boutique do check them out and i'll leave the link um, to where you can see all their range at selfridges down below so you can check them out as well let me know uh, so let me know if you have tried any of these do you wear any which is your favorite let me know in the comments down below but that's it guys so thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you in the next video bye